Our research is focused on developing diagnostics for cancer and identifying molecular targets that we can use for the design and development of drugs. So the breast carcinoma cells are really the enemy. We, we don't want to develop diagnostics for the normal cells or, you know, stromal elements or invading cells such as lymphocytes and so on. So we used laser capture microdissection primarily to enrich the populations of the cells of interest so that when we do the expensive technologies of extracting and um, analyses, we receive answers on the cells of interest. The manner in which we identify the cellular heterogeneity of the specimens with which we work is from the uh, immunohistochemistry analysis um, in, of the samples of breast cancer. I work with human breast cancer and biopsies of breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancer. And cellular heterogeneity is patently clear when you look at this under the scope. We found that with uh, the LCM instruments produced by Arcturus, we could literally uh, focus on the cells of interest. Much of my work deals with very small numbers of cells. We cannot have contamination of the surrounding cells. And so our early work with the Pixel, the Pixel 2E and others allowed us to, almost like an artist, pick out the individual cells of interest. Now we've expanded to larger populations of cells using other instrumentation. The principal ways in which LCM has enhanced our work and um, certainly advanced our understanding of breast cancer and the other cancers that we study is that we've been able to specifically define genomic subsets that are correlated with clinical responses. I realize the technology was developed for um, research use only, but my ultimate goals are to build diagnostics and identify molecular targets to which we could develop uh, drugs. So we've got to do the discovery steps first. And in fact, LCM has been a marvelous discovery tool for us so that we can now move forward to the more clinically associated technologies.